Hello and welcome back here to South Shields on Football Manager. Today we will be facing Tranmere Rovers in the last game of our first season here in the National League. We are currently sitting in 9th place. Tranmere is sitting in 10th place. We are both on 68 points and we both still have a chance to make the playoffs but we definitely need a lot of luck to go our way for that to happen. Taking a look here at our schedule, seeing where we left off after last time. We were currently on a record breaking run of not being able to win a single game, but thankfully our game against Telford saw us break that streak, getting the 3-0 victory. Since then, we've kept up pretty decent form. We've only lost one game since then, so that has seen us crawl our way back into the playoff picture. But as I mentioned, we are needing luck to go our way. We need to win, and we need Barnett and Bilerke both to lose. Well, Barnett can draw. Bilariki cannot get a single point, or they will go into the playoffs, and we will not. So, let's go over here and take a look at the team who will be facing Tranmere. So, we do have Creechlow Noble starting at left back, as Blair Adams is currently out with a twisted ankle. If we were to make the playoffs, he would probably come back for the second game, perhaps, uh, and maybe the final. Let's see here. Nine days and three weeks, so he could miss the whole playoffs, potentially. But this is the team we will be using to take on Tranmere. And it is away at Tranmere, so no home field advantage for us. Let's go out there and give it your all. We're in good form. You can you can do this. Just gotta go out there and do your part and hope for the best. You can't control anything else other than how you play today. Tranmere with a free kick at the edge of the box and Bernard Dale absolutely Buries that top corner. There is no way Flat was going to keep that one out. And unfortunately for us, we have a lot of work to do now. Gamble with a corner kick to clear it out. Falls the bell. Blair, sorry, gets it back in. Eventually, Webster gets it to Sheldon. Who gets the equalizer for us? Gamble with the free kick, initially headed out by the defender, follows the Blair at the top of the botch, finds Webster, finds Sheldon, goes back across goal. Excellent goal for his 17th of the season. That is the response we were looking for, and we are putting on some more pressure now. Whipped in by Gamble, finds Blair at the back post, who somehow sneaks his header in, and we now have the lead. Excellent comeback from us. Gamble throws it in the Haygarth, plays it back to Gamble, crosses it in. Blair Adams rises above the defender and heads it home. Need to keep this up. One goal advantage probably is not going to be enough with Tranmere fighting for their playoff lives as well. And they almost get the equalizer right there, but the header goes just over. And we are headed into halftime with the 2-1 advantage. Pretty even first half. Telling them I'm pleased, need to keep it up. Team is looking alright out there. Come on you boys. If 
Cricking the ball in here. With the Porter ones, that's a foul. And a good position to get a ball in the box, but it does not come to anything. Starting to rack up some yellow cards here, which is not something you want to see in an important game like this. Uh, we turn the ball over, and Tranmere are looking to get us on the counterattack. Maybe not. We win the ball back. Looks as looks promising. Blair finds Haygarth, and it gets deflected onto the post, and somehow it stays out. That was an opportunity that we needed to take advantage of there. Sixty-six minutes gone. Going to bring on Liam Brockbank, who, yes, still plays for the club. We will be getting his first appearance of the season. In place of Creechlow Noble, who is looking a little tired out there. Ooh. And we will bring on Nathan Lowe for Harry Green. We'll swap these two over there. It's getting, oh, we got an injury to Marley Blair. So we will bring on Leon Van Umpel for our last sub of the game. This is scary times here. 83rd minute with the corner, and that looked like it was going in at first, but thankfully we just about survive. And we are... No, not again. Are you kidding me? Bernard Dale with an almost identical free kick. Who is this guy? Unbelievable. What is his free kick taking at? Can't believe we've just done that. And that looks like our playoff chances are just about over with. Need to get the ball forward here and fast, but instantly turning the ball over and giving it right back to Tranmere. This is probably the final attack. Can we make anything out of this? The foul. He knew what he was doing there. Webster, make yourself a hero. And he hits the wall, and that is surely going to be game over. Not moving very fast for needing to get the win. And wow. Kicks it right out of play. And that is where our season comes to an end. That was disappointing. We needed a win there to have a shot at the playoffs. And we blew it. Max Haygarth, 6.1. That's terrible. Let's take a look at the standings and see if we would have won, if we would have gotten in. No, it would not have mattered as Bellarique ended up getting the win convincingly 5-0. So that is where our season will be coming to an end, unfortunately. Marley Blair is out for five weeks, so he would have missed the playoffs. Taking a look at our end of the season player stats and... We'll go over our end of the season awards. Marcus Sheldon was our top goal scorer with 17 goals. Blair Adams, our highest rated player, average rating 7.11. He also was our most assist with 9. Harry Green notches the best pass completion at 89%. Marcus Sheldon was our player of the match award winner getting four of those throughout the season, and Bayou Day had seven yellow cards, so that is not something that you want to win at the end of the year. But here are our end of the season awards. Fans player of the season is Blair Adams getting 42%. Um, yes, he was very important for us. Um, as we saw with the stats, he was 
um, our most assisted player at 9 and had our best average rating at 7.11. Our goal of the season came through Max Haygarth. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at that now against Maidstone United. So it looks like he gets the ball out there and he turns and he rockets one home for the goal of the season. Yes, that was a very nice goal. And Haygarth uh, won the signing of the season. No surprise there. And our young player of the season was Owen Gamble. So that is where this season officially comes to an end now. So I will go ahead and get the offseason knocked out and next season, next episode, and next season, I will show you what new signings we have, what transfers have occurred. Till next time, it's been your Boyd147.